All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So about an hour ago, we got a new data download on both sides of the game for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super superhero movie celebration featuring the LR Beast Gohan, or rather uh, Ultimate Gohan, who has Beast Gohan in his active skill animation, and also the LR Power Awakened Piccolo, who has a giant form transformation into Orange Piccolo for a few turns. And uh, yeah, in this video, we are going to be breaking down everything that we got from this data download. We'll be mainly focusing on the JP one because uh, Proton hasn't had a chance to post the global one yet, but the assets should be very similar between the two sides, with the exception of global getting the Dokkan Festival A and Dokkan Festival B tickets in their data download which uh, is a pretty big deal. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be only available for purchase in the, you know, Baba shop or the, uh, you know, ticket pack shop, or if they're going to be available from, you know, doing summons as well, like most dual token fests uh, on global, right? But usually the case with simultaneous releases like this is that nobody gets any tickets just to, uh, I guess, not make anybody upset. But there's a chance, guys. There's a chance that this time with this dual Dokkan Fest, Global might be getting tickets like Dokkan Festival A tickets and Dokkan Festival B tickets for doing summons on their dual Dokkan Fest, whereas JP is, uh, you know, still not getting them, which would be a pretty big deal. I think that might be the first time that's ever happened. Correct me if I'm wrong, but either way, uh, pretty exciting for Global players. We'll see because. Um, you know, it's possible that it's just available for purchase, that, you know, they're only uh, paid packs, paid tickets. So we'll see once the uh, news drops or once uh, the banners drop, which is pretty soon. I think they're supposed to be coming out in, um, I guess, just under 24 hours. Uh, the time I heard was 9 p.m. Eastern on the 27th. Uh, that could be wrong as well, so don't hold me to it. But anyways... Um, a lot of exciting stuff, and uh, with all that said, let's jump into it. Um, of course, a big shout out to my boy Proton at 10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. Make sure to go follow him if you haven't done so already. And uh, scrolling down here, we'll start with the first thing, which is a new promo movie for the aforementioned LR Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo. So let me just pause the music here. And enjoy, guys. Dude, I can't get over just how insane the Beast Gohan animation looks. Like, I know it sucks that we can't actually use him um, outside of popping the active skill one time, but it's so clean. It's just so much better than almost any other animation in the game that I feel like it almost makes up for the lack of an, an actual Beast Gohan, you know? Um, of course, a lot of people are still upset about it and it's totally understandable. I'm just saying, like, that animation is by far the greatest animation we've ever seen in uh, Dokkan so far. Um, it's definitely set the standard for future animations, and uh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Okay, so promo movie right there, and then we have the uh, Fizz LR Ultimate Gohan himself. There is the SSR art, which you all want to see when you summon tomorrow, as well as the 
uh, TUR and it's kind of interesting to see like the assets for these card arts are kind of different from what we're used to like even the little you know uh, spiky you know animation things right? or the uh, sorry not animation the spiky assets in the card arts look more HD maybe I don't know they just look different to me maybe I'm crazy okay so that is the SSR there is the TUR and finally, we have, of course, the LR Ultimate Gohan with Beast Gohan in the back, who we see briefly. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good time, but definitely a short time in the active scale animation. And uh, hopefully, you know, I mean, not hopefully, one of these days, one of these days, we definitely will be getting a standalone Beast Gohan, right? A usable Beast Gohan, but for now, it's basically an ultimate Gohan card with a little bit of Beast Gohan. Okay, so that is the Gohan, and then we have the Piccolo, there is the SSR, the TUR, and then the LR, and then we also, of course, have the uh, giant form orange Piccolo as well. And then there's the Kid Pan, SSR, and TUR. I'm assuming that he's gonna be available. Sorry, she's, she's going to be available on the Beast Gohan banner, but well, I could be wrong. Actually, we do have the banner previews a little bit later, so stay tuned. Yeah, ow, ow. I just banged my elbow on the table. We're good though, we're good. Okay, so uh, we also have the uh, other banner unit, the other side unit, which is this teen Goten and Trunks. There's the SSR and TUR. And then we have uh, the TUR of the free to play Teen Gohan, apparently, and uh, yeah, he's pretty dope. He's pretty dope. Um, the animations, at least, look pretty clean. Uh, I actually haven't seen the details, like what he does after the Awakening, but I'm assuming he's pretty strong, so uh, we'll see about that, but I like the art a lot. I like the animations a lot, so uh, very cool um, free-to-play unit. And then we also have a free-to-play Tech Gamma 1 and Fizz Gamma 2. So there's the Gamma 1, there's the Gamma 2 for, you know, sad boys like me who didn't pull either one. At the very least, we can get, you know, a Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 in our boxes because we can't pull them. So pretty exciting right there. Uh, gammas 1 and 2, free to play. And uh, yeah, this is the map for a new uh, event called Awaken the Up and Coming Martial Artist. So I think this is the skill orb, the new skill orb event with uh, Kid Pan. And then we have some new stages for the new Dragon Ball, sorry, uh, new story event, new story event, Dragon Ball Super, Superhero Story Event, or stages, the uh, category bonus drop, or um, you know, the effective category, I guess, is superheroes, which is the new category led by the Piccolo and Gohan. And these are the four new maps, which uh, you can recognize from the superhero movie, actually, which is really cool. And then we also have uh, stages five and six, right? And this is from, I guess, the Cell Max fight, I believe. And uh, there is the Token Awakening Medal for, I guess, the free-to-play team Gohan. And uh, of course, there are two new Dokkan events for the Gohan, as well as the Piccolo, right? Two new Dokkan events. And we have a new Infinite Dragon Ball History uh, stage as well, versus Heroes of Justice. So there is the map for that. We have a new Super Battle Road stage, Space Traveling Warriors only. And also, a new Extreme Super Battle Road stage, Exploding Rage only. And from there, there is a new Red Zone event. Uh, stage 1 is versus Red Ribbon Army, and Stage 2 is versus uh, 19 and Dr. Jero. And I believe, I believe we will be getting more stages to this as well. Uh, maybe in another part of the celebration, because uh, there should be the Gammas as well, because they were on the banner or the event preview image, right? So I think, uh, yeah, stage one and two is Red Ribbon, Ar Red Ribbon Army and uh, 19 and Jero, unless 
the Gambas are part of the Red Ribbon Army uh, stage right there. I'm not sure, but uh, anyways, two new stages for now. New Red Zone, always exciting. And then uh, a new support item, it's uh, Monster Carrot, which changes all Key Spheres into Carrots, and then defense plus 15% per Key Sphere obtained, including Carrots, for one turn. Obtaining Carrots does not raise a character's key. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like the, you know, nuking items, right? The nuking, the Bura Cookie, or uh, Chilai, uh, Lemo, and so on and so forth, um, except that it's for defense as opposed to offense or attack. So, very interesting, very interesting. Could actually be quite useful in some events where um, you need to like just get a ton of defense for that one turn to survive a super or something like that, right? So, I might test it out. I mean, it, it seems like it could definitely have its uses. So, yeah, Monster Carrot Support Item. A uh, new EZA medal for the LR uh, Trunks from Extreme Super Battle Road. So this guy is getting an EZA, I'm assuming, for JP first and then Global later. That's usually how it goes, right? So, a new EZA medal, a uh, new Trade Jewel, not 100% sure what this is for, to be honest. So, not going to talk about it too much, but new Trade Jewel uh, seems like something that would be exclusive to JP at the moment. And then a new random box as well. Uh, and here are the banners. Okay, these are the banners. So I was wrong. The pan is on the Piccolo banner. And then the Goten and Trunks are on the Kohan banner. So from what we see right now, there are going to be five feature units. There's going to be more actually. But the five we know about right now based on the banner image. We have the Ultimate Gohan. Uh, we have the LR Cell. Uh, AGL transforming cell uh, from first form to perfect form and then of course the Goten and Trunks and LR Blue Boys the Fizz one not the uh, anniversary one of course and then for the Piccolo banner we have Piccolo we have the Pan we have the STR uh, exchange Goku and Gohan and then Tech LR Gogeta and AGL LR Gohan so I gotta be honest guys um, from what I see right now, these banners don't look that exciting, but they will have 3 plus 1, and on global, possibly tickets as well. So, despite not looking super exciting, um, outside of the new LRs, of course, uh, there should still be good value here. There should be good value here, especially if you're missing a good amount of these units, right? I mean, I'm just coming at it from like the perspective of a long-term player who has basically all of these side units outside of the new ones rainbowed um yeah I'm, I'm not getting hyped looking at the featured units we see here but i'm hopeful that the other featured units will be solid as well and uh you know hopefully with the discounts and all that stuff i can finally pull a new unit after like five or six banners okay so yeah those are the banner assets we have some new summoning animation assets with the uh, Gohan and uh, you can see there's like the fake outs there's like various colored animations here there's different backgrounds um, you can see like Piccolo and Gohan and Pan uh, you know um, there's Dr. Ghetto right there or sorry Hedo Dr. Hedo not Ghetto um, <laughs> and also like the screen cracks uh, so yeah, we're getting some new animations, um, which is always exciting. We've got the gammas right on the top right here. Uh, looks very interesting. Looks very, very interesting. We don't exactly know like what the combinations will be or what the different new animations might mean, but I think it's probably going to be very consistent with like our current animations. So we'll probably be able to figure them out relatively quickly, right? So yeah, new summoning animations, definitely a big deal. And then we have some new login assets for the new login screen. And this is essentially um, the movie poster from what I can tell. It's, it's like the promo movie poster for the uh, Dragon Ball Heroes, sorry, uh, Dragon Ball Super superhero movie right there. And probably gonna be a wallpaper as well. I mean, it just looks like you know, a future wallpaper, right? So 
that is the new login screen more login assets okay and then uh, a bunch of scripted assets so we got a couple of piccolos piccolo in the the armor right there we got a bunch of gohans obviously we got uh, a couple of cell maxes uh, very nice a couple of gammas there's gamma one there's gamma two and then we have uh, more Gamma 2, more Super Saiyan Teen Gohan, or one Super Saiyan Teen Gohan and two non-Super Saiyan Gohans. There's a Teen Trunks, Teen Goten, a couple of cute pans, a bunch of Piccolos, more Piccolo. Uh, these Beast Gohan assets look absolutely incredible, dude, especially this one. Especially this one. I mean, he looks actually... This looks like a Bukigiri match asset to me. Like it, the, the art style, or maybe like the glow or whatever lighting effect they used. Uh, kind of reminds me of Bukigiri match, man. Quite a bit, but it, it just it just looks awesome. It just looks awesome. So yeah, Ultimate Gohan. We got uh, my, my girl 18, Bulma, Jiro, and Hedo. Uh, we have more Hedo, and then a police Gohan. Sorry. <laughs> Police Krillin, Police Griff, uh, Krillin, and then the superhero uh, logo and two backgrounds. And uh, I believe that does it for the new uh, assets, guys, from this data download. Like I said, um, on the global data download, there were tickets that were found, the Dokkan Festival A and B tickets. We don't know for sure if uh, we'll, keep, we'll be getting them for free for summoning or if... Uh, can only buy them if that's the case that kind of sucks if we do get them for summons huge huge global main not trying to start like a sorry huge global win huge global win for global mains um not trying to start like a jp versus global kind of thing because obviously i like both sides um i play global but nothing wrong with jp of course um it's just that would be awesome <laughs> that'd be awesome and I hope that JP players, man, one day get these summoning tickets because, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that only Global gets summoning tickets, whereas JP doesn't. Like, it, I don't really get it. Um, this feels like something that both sides should get, you know what I mean? But anyways, we did find the tickets there in the data download from Global, so that's going to be interesting to see uh, how they're given out, I guess, or how they're obtainable. And uh, yeah, that is the data download, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, I think the release date for all this stuff is 9 p.m. Eastern um, tomorrow, but or today, I guess, depending on when you're watching, but um, 27th. And uh, if that time is wrong, then I apologize. That's just what I've been hearing. Um, maybe do your own research to, to confirm that. And uh, that's it, guys. That is the data download. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know how many stones you're going to be spending for the uh, Gohan and the and the Piccolo. Um, are you super disappointed that they ended up not being standalone usable Piccolos or Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohans, respectively? Or are you okay with it? Uh, either way, I'm hyped. I'm still hyped. Uh, Could have been better, but definitely not bad by any means and uh yeah that's it guys thank you so much once again as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out